shopping at Target. I got some dress socks for me because I've been needing them. We're also going to look at curtain rods because I have these sheer curtains that I want to hang lights behind them and put up the curtains behind my bed. If that makes any sense. I did my measurements today, so we're going to go look and see what they have. Get me some cool looking sandals. Yep, just because I can. Anybody want some cozy panties? That way your booty is cozy. <laughs> Don't look. I oh, aren't supposed to look at that. I got me a new nightgown. Yeah, because that's how a lady catches the man with a sexy, sexy nightgown. I'm kidding. It's not sexy, but it's soft and it's comfortable. I probably look sexy in anything, right? Do you agree? They didn't have a curtain rod here or a target because I need at least 100 inches. Bought these tomatoes. They're um, red cherry tomatoes and I think I'm going to plant them. So I already had a flower pot, you can see here. It's actually pretty big and I filled it with dirt. I'm going to put these seeds in here. Um, and then I've actually got one of these stands that it can grow and hold it up. And we'll see what happens. Let the magic begin. Okay, I have the seeds in this hand. I'm just gonna spread the dirt evenly. And here are the seeds. Just gonna sprinkle them about here. I don't wanna do the whole packet, but I don't wanna do half the packet either. I figured they would go down in here anyway. So I'm just gonna gently do it. They don't have to be super buried. I just hope that they're not all bundled up in the same area now. Now I'm just gonna water it. I'm not 100% convinced this is the best pot, although it is the best looking. Um, you'll notice there's nowhere for it to drain at all, no way for it to drain. So there is about this much of space between um, some kind of a grate that's under there um, and the bottom, so the water will collect at the bottom, which in a way could be good because it'll help continue to increase or bring up the moisture. But I have to be careful not to overwater it. And you'll see here, this is my porch, and I have it just under that so it can get some sun, but it's covered by direct rain. That's just to make sure that there's no overwatering. And over here is my bird feeder. It is empty, and I have some bird seeds that I'm going to put in there because I love the birds, but they stop coming to my house and area if I stop feeding them. I don't understand that. I just sprayed this. This is a silicone pan, but I sprayed it with oil. And um, this is a pound of ground beef mixed with, did not have oatmeal or bread. So I just put um, egg in it with bell peppers and onions that were frozen in a seasoning packet for meatloaf. I'm actually gonna do green beans, but I'm gonna do frozen green beans. And I'm also going to do mashed potatoes, but I'm cheating. And I'm using these, the Idahoan mashed potatoes. These are like 88 cents for a packet. And they're so good. They're real potatoes, y'all. I ain't lying. Okay, my upper oven is set at 350 degrees. I'll show you how I make the sauce that goes on top of the meatloaf. I take a measuring cup and some ketchup. And I do about a fourth cup of ketchup. Take honey or whatever I feel like, but just to not do more than needed, I just do like a couple of these. So, I don't know, a couple tablespoons. Lillian Perrin Worcestershire sauce. Just do, whoop. okay, a couple of splashes. I put a little too much, but it'll be fine. And then I mix it up. When it's ready, I'll pull it out, put that on top, put it back in the oven for about 10 minutes so it can kind of glaze if you will looks like the bird feeder is already working 
There's a lot of cardinals around here, but they don't come around if you don't feed them. Green beans, I'm going to put it in this Pyrex dish here, and I put um, my butter and all the seasoning that I want to season with it in the bowl. So when I put, do you call me? Okay. <laughs> so when I put the green beans in here, they're going to be hot, and then I'm just going to stir it, and they're going to be seasoned. Back about to blow. potatoes good whether they're homemade or whether you're using instant so check this out so these are ready I'm just gonna add the pat of butter and some sour cream and some shredded cheese here's the end product guys I forgot to do a video and I ate a bit of it but it's yummy I'm using uh, Betty Crocker's peanut butter Next. oil so that's what I'm using Now I'll set the oven for 375 degrees and up to 10 minutes. That's what I'm going to do. Um, by the way, these turned out amazing. This is super awesome. I'm at Walmart and I believe I have what I need. It is these right here. Um, they're double and it goes up to 120 inches, which I need 100. I think this will work. It's only $6.95. Okay guys, we just move the bed back. We're gonna measure and get that thing put up. Well, that is it guys. What do you think? I love it. It's amazing, even if I do say so myself. Mission accomplished. Now I'm going to go watch TV and relax for the rest of the night. Y'all have a great night.